Hey there, I'm Joe Garcia, DevOps security engineer for CyberArk, and in this video, we'll zero in on securing your software supply chain with CyberArk's Conjure Secrets Manager. But first, let's take a quick peek at the state of software supply chain attacks today. As you can see at a quick glance, the overall state of supply chain attacks is quite grim. The line graph presented alone gives a great visualization of all the major attacks that have taken place since January 2020. In fact, in 2021, 15% of organizations experienced an attack on their software supply chain. By 2025, this is expected to increase three times. About half of the current organizations will have been affected by a supply chain attack by then. The crazy thing is the attack vector used is a pretty common one. 66% of the attacks in the past two years have been due to compromised code to some degree. More common than not, this takes the form of plain text secrets accidentally leaked to public source code repositories like GitHub or GitLab that are then discovered by a malicious actor. Millions of organizations have been affected and millions more will be affected by 2025. Let's take a quick look at how SolarWinds Supply Chain Breach is one of the 66% due to compromised code. And then I'll share with you how CyberArk can make your organization, uh, make sure your organization doesn't end up as one of the millions affected. So here we have the building blocks of what ended up being the SolarWinds Supply Chain Breach. The US Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency structured the attack into three stages, and I'm doing the same here. The first is stage one, and the main focus of our discussion. The attacker discovered the now infamous password, SolarWinds123, in plain text on a public source code repository, and was able to use it to infiltrate their initial attack vector, the CICD pipeline for SolarWinds Orion. From there, they were able to inject malicious code in the form of a backdoor that would follow the same lifecycle as the actual Orion code base, even to the point of being digitally signed as a verifiable SolarWinds release. Stage two focuses on the initial activities of the backdoor code and how it zeroed in on vulnerable organizations. The malicious Orion update released like a normal patch and companies doing automated upgrades were none the wiser. In stage three, the attackers were able to exploit the back door and once within the network, elevated their privileges in order to fulfill their espionage campaign, gaining a foothold on organizations and complete network takeover. Ah, here we go. If you're familiar with the DevOps methodology, you'll recognize these stages. However, each stage isn't without their own set of risks. Some of those risks can be specific to secrets that you need to be used, permissions that are required to perform certain automated actions, as well as governance and compliance standards for your organization's industry. No one stage is without multiple risks. The key is to reduce the risks associated with each stage, if not completely eliminating them altogether. In the following slides, I'll show you how CyberArk Conjure Secrets Manager can help your organization reduce risk and improve security in an effort to block software supply chain attacks before they happen. So here's our pipeline stages based on the DevOps methodology again, only this time, I wanna focus on how we can manage secrets in each stage. Each tool we may use in our pipeline has its own way of handling secrets. From GitHub to Jenkins, even Ansible and AWS, every tool has some solution available to use. The problem becomes one of creating islands of security. These islands of security make it difficult to identify workload authorizations, rotate or change secrets to stay within compliance, and to report on a complete audit trail of what automation is actually using and doing. Each tool is its own island, that doesn't communicate with the next. Trying to manually execute any of those actions I just talked about may break the pipeline and create delays in the release cycle. The total overhead required for security is just way too much and it's still a risk. 
When using CyberArk's Conjure Secrets Manager, it becomes the centralized solution that can establish an identity for the workload proce process. It can establish a host identity and contain additional workload process information for granular identification. Our integrations into popular platforms and tools allow us to use identifiable attributes to further authenticate a workload process without needing to just like trust a, uh, a token or a key. As long as the information on our host identity matches the information from the requesting workload, authorization to secrets can be determined, no secret zero involved. With a host identity established and attributes being used for authentication, we can now use Conjure's authorization policy as code to allow the workload processes access to secrets within Conjure just in time. Now we can rotate or change those secrets anytime we'd like to keep them within the compliance standards set forth by your organization's industry. If Jenkins or Ansible needs to run a job that needs to authenticate to various integrated services for testing or release, it can do so by retrieving the secret just in time from Conjure Secrets Manager and always have the latest version of the secret value. Of course, every action that takes place is audited and stored within Conjure's immutable and encrypted database, regardless of whether the action was a success or failure. With the option to flow the audit using syslog to log aggregators or SIM solutions, even if there's a blip in your network causing a gap in the complete audit trail, you can always rest assured that Conjure Secrets Manager contains the complete audit trail to fill that gap. What is the job in the Jenkins Cyber CLI pipeline accessing in Conjure? No problem. We can see here it's pulling secrets for testing itself against a PAM lab. When it comes to securing the supply chain, CyberArk's Conjure Secrets Manager can provide your automated workflows the security they need and give you the assurance you need that your organization won't become one of the millions affected by a supply chain attack today or any day in the future. Thank you and stay secure.